we launched the Tasty Pastry. It's a low carb Pop Tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs, and we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Monday, May 9th, 2022. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. As of today, I believe we're a little bit less than two weeks away from kicking things off at the Muscle Contest Sao Paulo Pro. And if you're in the market for an early favorite in the 212 division, Lucas Coelho might be your guy. A few days ago, Lucas's camp released this behind-the-scenes clip of him working his way through some of the mandatories. And the level of the conditioning that he showed off there was good enough to immediately shoot his name right to the top of the list. And when you consider the fact that this show will be right there in his home country, and that he wasn't happy with the way things turned out at the Olympia weekend last year, well, you'd figure that it gives him a little bit of extra motivation to really bring this thing home. So if he can take care of business over the next week or two, he's going to be one tough man to beat. Apparently, Lucas Coelho wasn't the only one who likes the idea of competing on his home turf if he has a chance to, because it looks like our friend James Hollingshead might be leaning in that direction too. Last week, James went on the record to say that he was planning to compete at the Arnold UK, which is scheduled to go down the weekend of September 25th. James' off-season progress has been well documented here, so it shouldn't come as any surprise that he's heading into the first phase of his prep with the best conditioning that he's ever had, which puts him way ahead of the game in a lot of respects. Over the last two years, James has really started to come into his own, and we saw that on a full display at last year's Olympia. So if he can just keep doing what he does and working his way through the process, this show could end up being one of those big statement wins in his career. In sports, sometimes you'll hear people use an expression about certain athletes having another gear. And I know the comparison from most team sports to bodybuilding doesn't always fit, but I don't know any other way to describe what Hunter Labrador is doing right now other than to say he has another gear. The latest update from Hunter's camp showed him weighing in somewhere around 285 pounds, which is crazy when you check out the level of conditioning that he has as well. According to Hunter, the plan is to use the next five months to focus on bringing up his lagging body parts before he shifts gears and jumps right into Olympia prep. Historically, Hunter's always been someone who competed at least twice during the offseason. So the fact that he's taking so much time off should be telling you something about what his goals are this year. Because if he can keep making progress at this pace, he might have a chance to finish in the top three before this is all said and done. A few months ago, we did a segment on Peter Clancier after we started to hear the rumor mill swirling about him potentially being ready to make a comeback. And apparently there must have been some truth to that because the content that we've seen coming out of his camp lately is something that you've got to see to believe. Even when he was just starting to hit his stride a few years ago, before he ended up taking a long break, conditioning was the one thing that he always struggled with. But judging from the small sample size that we have here, it looks like he's finally managed to iron out some of those wrinkles, which makes him even more dangerous because there aren't too many athletes out there who can match him in terms of size. So if he keeps chipping away and shows up at his all-time best, he has a chance to be a real X factor at some point down the road. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.